Hello everyone and welcome back to our History Women of Color. Today the spotlight will be on Grace Lee Boggs, a prominent activist for the civil rights and feminism. I would like to start off with a quote from her. If you, can, you cannot change any society unless you take responsibility for it, unless you see yourself as belonging to it and responsible for changing it. Let us dissect. What I personally took away from this quote Many viewers may see something else, but I took this as, you cannot want to change society but not take responsibility for it. Part of the problem with society is that probably something we've contributed to it. If you want to change, you need to see yourself being the change and saying, this is what I deserve and this is what others deserve. Who is Grace Lee Boggs? Grace Lee Boggs was an American social activist, author, philosopher, and feminist. She has been regarded as one of the key figures in Asian American movement. Grace Lee Boggs was born in, well, Grace Lee at first, was born in Providence, Rhode Island on June 15, 1915, above her father's Chinese restaurant. She was one out of five children. Later on, she says growing up, her first idol of feminism was her mother. Boggs once said, my mother was a rebel all her life. She never learned to read or write, there were no schools for females in little Chinese villages where she grew up. This was dated by Teen Vogue. When she was born in Rhode Island, she grew up in Jackson Heights, Queens, in New York. At just the age of 16, she started her studies at Barnard's College. She's a very intelligent young lady. And by 1935, she earned her degree in philosophy. She wanted to teach ethics and political thought to college students, despite being smart and having the credentials she was ultimately denied because she was Chinese American. For further context on this discrimination, the anti-Asian sentiment has been in the U.S. since the 19th, cent 19th century. This only increased during World War II in the wake of Pearl Harbor and internment camps. The American Hotels Truth.org says, Grace Lee Boggs embraced a philosophy of constant questioning, not just who we are as individuals, but how we relate to those in our community and our country. During the Great Depression, many were enraged by the injustices of the economy and fired up by the mass movements that rose to challenge it. Miss Lee, like others, gravitated towards socialism. Now, the definition of socialism is a political and economic theory of social organization which advocates that the means of, the whole, of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. Miss Lee found herself from the Workers' Party to the Socialist Workers' Party. She translated Karl Marx's early letters and wrote philosophical treaties, popular pamphlets, and articles for the Johnsonite publication. Even after Mrs. Lee dropped her socialism, she never abandoned its fundamental tenet. Change would come from well-organized, well-read, and, and disciplined working class. She was very much for the people. In the, in the 1940s, Lee lived in Chicago. She began to organize protests for the tenants to fight for their rights, including living quarters free, for ver free of vermin. Both herself and her Black neighbors had experienced rodent infestations. She was inspired after witnessing the demonstration in the streets. This solidified her decision to pursue a career as a community organizer. In 1953, she married James Boggs and they would move to Detroit. And through, and through the 1960s, she would organize tirelessly for the civil rights movements. Quoted as saying, she would often joke that the FBI classified her as an Afro-Chinese, since her husband was Black, her closest friends were Black, and she lived mostly in African-American neighborhoods. It made the struggle for Black freedom her life's work. This was quoted by the New Yorker. At the age 100, Grace Lee Boggs died in 2015, not before being honored with a lifetime of achievements from numerous organizations and institutions. She has also been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and Michigan's Women's Hall of Fame. In a conversation with Angela Davis in 2012, Mrs. Boggs quoted, and we all have to change what we say, what we do, what we think, and what we imagine. This is especially important in our current times. I want to quote a line from the Obama White House archives about Mrs. Boggs. In the last 100 years, she has seen colleges and universities open their doors to women and minorities. The passage of landmark civil rights laws and increased participation of women and minorities in public offices, including the election of President Obama. As stated by Teen Vogue, 
Mrs. Boggs shows us how to imagine Asian, Asian American movement building in more expansive ways in order shift and transform systems of power. She also challenges us to embody leadership and self-reflective practice to constantly be learning and growing. Grace Lee Boggs stressed individual thinking and fighting for what you believe is right. In order to change things, you need to change your whole perspective and even question your own beliefs. That is one of the core values of change. I'd like to mention there's a school named after her and her husband in Detroit, Michigan is a K through eight school. In the description, there's a video from PBS that is a trailer about her evolution in her life that I think you all will enjoy. Thank you all for listening and watching and tuning in for our, for our episode today. There will be a survey at the end that I would really appreciate if you guys could take and just keep a lookout for my other videos. Thank you.